Hi guys, Wardrums here and welcome to another Fall Guys video. In this video, we'll take a look at some tips and tricks for the race event Slam Climb. In the beginning of the round, try to not go too close to the edge as the initial chaos can easily push you off. When you make it to the yellow triangles, you can either try to jump on the first one, jump on the second one, or go all the way around. When going past the pushers, it can be a fine idea to just wait around a little bit to avoid the chaos that can sometimes happen. For the next section, you can either have balls or rolling logs. In either case, use the camera to advantage so you can see further up when the ball will be coming or when the log will be rolling. For the next section, if you're not one of the first people there, it always gets very chaotic, so it can often be a good idea to wait around a bit for that golden opportunity. Here it's very important to keep in mind that the second pusher moves at a higher frequency than the first one, so think ahead a bit when planning your jump. The sideways conveyor belt should usually not be a problem. Walk all the way to the wall and then keep running slightly diagonal. If you're going for the world record speedrun, you can try and jump up here to the golden beams, but it's a very tricky jump, so don't feel bad about going around the outside. When it comes to the yellow beams, I don't really have any tips, but they are basically identical to the ones you find at the beginning of Hit Parade, so if you're having trouble, try practicing on those. Right after the yellow beams, you can do this little shortcut. Just be careful about the nearest hammer, as it can easily knock you off. Just as with the previous sections, if you can't do the shortcut, there's no shame in going around the side. And there's no doubt that the shortcut is definitely faster. As with the previous two pusher sections, patience is key for this final one. If you are the malicious type, you can try grabbing people and let the pushers push people down to the previous section. This will of course create enemies for you, so I'd advise against it. For the final stretch, there can be a few variations. We have the donut stacks, where looking a bit ahead and planning your run can give you a big advantage. We have the swing pendulums, which functions very much the same, just on a bigger scale. In this clip, I get a little bit grab happy, which is still inadvisable, especially because karma has a tendency to come back to bite you. In this case, karma looks like Godzilla. We have the red hammers, where zigzagging from side to side is usually a surefire way of making it past. And lastly, we have the most recently added variation, thick bonkers. My preferred method of getting past is starting in the bottom left corner, and then even before thick bonkers has passed, start running to gain some momentum. Diving right at the end can help with two things, both giving you a small extra speed boost, but also make sure that you lie flat on the ground when thick bonkers comes back around. If you don't want to deal with any of these final obstacles and you are presented with the opportunity, you can of course go for big yeetus. I would however highly advise against this, as contrary to other maps, a failed launch is a guaranteed elimination. It is now your turn to take what you've learned from this video and apply it to your own gameplay. With enough practice, the W's will come in no time. If you enjoyed the video or just found it helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more future guides. Also, leave a comment on which map you'd like to see a guide on next time. If there was a section you didn't quite understand, or you'd like me to flesh out some of the points that I had, make sure to find me on Twitch, where I stream every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday, link in the description down below. I have been Wardrums, and you have been you, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day, and a good life. Bye.